one. Beauty bass here. Top water frog. Top water frog bite. We just came out here. It's about 6.30, almost 7 o'clock. Here, just grab it a little bit. bit. Yeah, a little bit. Grab it a little bit. Okay. Hunter's going to hold this baby up for you. Look at that. Look at that. That's got to be at least three and a half pounds. We're going to wait real quick. That's water. Hey, guys. Look at that. We're going to go real close. It's like a four pounder. That's about a four pound fish right there. Looks like it's about 3.11. Sorry if you can't really read it that well, but... Okay, we got to get this guy back in the water. Here, let's get one last look at him. Sorry we couldn't get the... Fight on camera, Carson didn't get out in time, but it was in my That's pocket. That's a big bass. So yeah. Would you like to release it? Or? Yeah, Carson can release it. It's okay. Okay, we'll release it, baby. Yeah, it just Start got out here. Cast it over there. About 10 minutes in, not even. Big old bass. Let's see if we can Let's just revive him real quick. Just got to gulp some water. Uh, oh, he bit me. There he goes. He bit me right on the finger. Okay, guys, that was a beauty bass. Hopefully... Hopefully, we can get in our bass. Thank you. Peace. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, we just came out here. We thought it'd be a good idea to try to get a video up for you guys. We just laid underneath this bridge here. We're going in this um, mucky and weedy grass. Just fishing top of the frogs. You've seen Hunter's frog already, but mine's just a little bit smaller. Um, we're just fishing these areas right in the thick grass, trying to catch some bass. And as you've seen there, it only took 10 minutes to get your fish and we've, we've only been out here for 20 minutes so hopefully we can come back with a nice bass. Wish I could come back with the fish. So, it's using my little popping frog and I was just snapping it, talking to Hunter, looked over for a second, I hear a smack right about here. I don't know what size, humongous bass, four pound plus. Just snapped my line. Now I got time in their frog. First time using my Frog snapped. What a bad luck. Well, I'll get back to you from fish. Yep, yep. Hey guys, what's going on? Carson just hooked onto a bass here. Yeah, he's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Carson is currently, this is his fourth fish he's had Six. today. Six. Fifth. He snapped off a frog already. And a popper and an air plastic frog. He said this is a nice size. But he just lost an air one. That one had it. Good. Wow. That was my fifth fish I lost today. Three on the frog. Two, one on the popper. Actually, four on the frog and one on the popper. Guys, my luck today has been awful. Pull Hunter to turn on camera because I know it just lost one right over there. Where it just passed it. Yep, there's no one. Yep, this one's on. This one's on. This this one's on. We got the blow up? Yeah, I haven't stopped recording. Six <laughs> fish a day here, folks. Six fish. Didn't even cut it. No, he spit it again. How? He spit it. You seen the blow up guys? You spit it again. You gotta be kidding me. This is my sixth fish I lost today. I just keep recording, but I guess. Okay. So I just cast it right where I cast it before. Do a little twitches with the frog. And boom! Smash the frog again. That's I caught one. Six fish. About a four pounder. I probably lost Six. three of my PED today. Well, we're going to end this now and see if I can catch a fish. Okay, hopefully we're back with him catching a fish. Hey, guys. You can, you can almost see my lure right there. It's a blue little floating rapala jointed. Justin's going Justin to try. After this lure, we'll probably have... Over fifty dollars with the lures snapped off for one four-pound bass. We'll do a recap after the video. This is looking awful. I'm gonna tie on something else. I don't even know why, but <sighs> it's been a rough day. Hey guys, what's going on? Fishing Fever here. Um, back with a little update from today's fishing trip. A recap. Of a little, trip. yeah, a little recap. So. 
with bass fishing, as you've seen, topwater frogs, hula poppers, really just topwater lures, and fishing in grass and muck. Hunter caught PB. of PB, almost four pound bass to start off the day. And I was like, okay, this is a great day so far, but I'm not even 10 minutes in. And then I lose the bass, I snap off my frog. I'm like, wow, that's upsetting. So then I go on and tie Hunter's hula popper on, and then I snap that off. So then I was like, wow, my line must be rotten. So then I risk and tie another little frog on, like a plastic frog, and I snap that off too. So overall, my day was bad, but Hunter, let's, we'll talk about his day. So I caught the uh, PB bass like 10 minutes in, and then Carson's rod was, the rot line was rotten, so I let him use mine for a bit. So he had my frog on, so he casts out, snaps that off, of course. I was 1 for 1 today, Carson was 0 for 7, so 1 for 8 in total. And then he tied on a jointed Rapala, snagged it on a log, so... In total, we lost like probably fifty to fifty-five dollars with the lures for our PB bass. So, but tomorrow we're going smallmouth fishing and Canadian Tire. So sure, we'll show you some lures to buy in the yeah for decent prices. So yeah, hopefully we can get you some more lures. We're gonna get some more top bar flogs, some more top bar lures, and we're gonna try to come back with another video. And this time, we're gonna try to catch my PB. Thanks, like, subscribe, peace. peace.